here we go. So welcome everyone to the third in our wonderful series of lockdown events. Can you all hear me okay and see the screen? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. This is our, our program for today. So I'll just do a little brief introduction um, and uh, try not to get too distracted by my dog who's nibbling at my feet children isn't it that, that come in and disrupt you so i'll do a bit of an introduction talk about the next event just to get um, an advanced warning in your diary and uh, remind you of the uh, nine of the ten um, rooms that we're going to have operating today hopefully you have signed up to one of the uh, rooms and uh, just, i'm walking away to get a treat for the dog Say that she starts woofing. Um, but this is the schedule. So we're going to go into whichever room you've signed up with, which will be hosted uh, by someone. I'll show you the list in a short moment. And the plan is, is that we go um, into our breakout rooms for about half an hour uh, and have a chat amongst those that have signed up to our topic and then come back into the main room. We won't do... Uh, a feedback like we normally uh, might do if we've gone into breakout rooms. We found with the previous sessions that we've run that that hasn't worked too well. And also we want everyone in the rooms Chatham House rules so that you can feel free to share what you want to share without it being repeated back. However, some of the rooms haven't got too many participants in. So if you feel that you're running out of things to say, uh, you will be able to return to the main room um, where Amy will be leading the charge, um, talking about other activities available or things needed from the, the OR Society. Or you can go into uh, another session if free, it says there. So 20 to 5 we will come back and then um, Amy will put us into little small uh, breakout rooms. If you've been to any of the sessions that we've run before, you'll be used to this. But basically what will happen is you will be randomly allocated uh, into a room of say three or four people uh, where you can just do some micro networking. Um, you know, go off and grab yourself a, a drink and some nibbles um, and bring whatever your tipple is uh, into that session. Um, and then we'll come back again into the main room at five o'clock uh, with some just some closing words and reminders of the events that are coming in the future. So aim to finish around about 10 past five UK time. Um, we will ask you to do a survey about how you found the session today um, so that that can help us in planning for our future sessions. Um, and this is just a, uh, an advance warning of the 13th of August. We've got Fast and Furious, um, fourth session in our lockdown series. And that will be six lightning talks showcasing work that women in OR are doing. And again, similar sort of time, four to five. So the sessions that we've got today, uh, we had planned 10, but unfortunately, uh, Laura, who was hosting session six, is not well, lost her voice, so um, that doesn't really work well when you're working virtually online if, you, if you're unable to speak. Um, but you should have signed up for one of these sessions. And um, that's where we're going to head off to now. If you haven't, I imagine that what will happen is you will be left in the room with Amy and you can have a quick chat with Amy. Uh, if you want to join one of the sessions and if you don't want to join one of the sessions and just fancy staying in the room the main room where we are now talking with Amy that is equally fine so as you can see from the topics here we've a real variety of, of things that people are going to be talking about today so uh, just to remind you Chatham House rules what what what's what's spoken in the room stays in the room so to speak uh, we won't be feeding any of it back into the plenary session that we have here uh, I wish you well for the session and, and hope that you find it uh, enjoyable and useful. So without further ado, unless somebody shouts to me that I've forgotten something, can Amy, can you 
put us into the room. I think what happens is, is you, you get a little notice that says you're going to be put in the room and you have to click OK. Hello. We got kicked out. We could have carried on. I don't know about the rest of you. Yeah, yeah, we could have carried on. Yes. Yeah. Oh, definitely. It went so quickly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We were, we were worried when we were organising the event because there are some very small workshops, uh, very small groups. So we thought um, we didn't want to be hammering away, but they're all experimental, all learning. <laughs> Dimitri, yeah. yours was the smallest. Would that have... Did Sorry. you finish early? Yours was, I think, the smallest. Did you finish early? Uh, no, we were still talking and then suddenly it came out. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. I thought that was great, even if it's just the two of us. <laughs> yeah, I enjoyed yeah. it. I was and I, I, I kind of see Ruth, uh, because your session was uh, the most popular one. I think, uh, you know, many people would like to attend another session where, you know, there is, uh, uh, this can be, for example, a Warren event, because th this seems to be a topic that people would like to discuss. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And it is the post <clears throat> topic. Yeah, well, we certainly didn't finish finish it in the group. I mean, we, we, haven't, uh, we haven't all cured ourselves. Um, so we can open up, uh, yeah, we could have an event and then people could just get into little groups and compare notes and come back and uh, and then, and do actually do it with the feedback from the, so we can set some, some questions and experiences and share those. Um, but it's, uh, it, yeah, uh, but, I think some people from our group may be calling on the mentoring program, Nadia. So yeah. I, I, I hope you've got one set up. Yes, we had a very good discussion, uh, but in a way we have more questions than answers. But uh, the one thing, you know, there is uh, um, a need really to set up uh, a mentoring scheme. There are several ideas on the table how to proceed, but it seems that the main, main idea is to have a kind of a mentoring scheme where we, uh, we, we, we might uh, mentors and mentees, but something that was pointed out during the session is, is perhaps we can set up a website where um, we have a list of mentors of people who are willing to act as mentors, and then uh, they can say what their interests are, and then some, you know, mentees, they can, they can really indicate who they would like to talk to. Um, uh, but, but of course, you know, the problem you might have with that is that some mentors might end up with no mentees and then some other mentors might be very, very popular. Uh, but something else that we said is that uh, many people would need more than one session. So ideally, you know, just if uh, um, we are able to, to have this kind of matching between a mentor and a mentee, ideally we would expect that uh, they would be able to meet um, about four times for a year. Uh, so that, you know, they can continue, you know, getting the benefits uh, uh, out of this. Um, and also something else we discussed was uh, during the time constraints, can we do something uh, for the OR conference or perhaps can we launch the initiative during the OR conference so that this year is going to be online? So as I said before, more <laughs> ideas, but more questions. I, I think it is typical, isn't it? We are going this way. We are diverging now and I think at some point we need to convert to something more tangible. Can I um, interrupt and, and suggest we go into the micro networking and, and suggest that if there's anything that's come out of the little rooms you were in that you put that in the feedback so that we can capture it um, and then Warren can take it forward. I mean I was in the single parent one and um, the issue was raised there of um, providing support for example bursaries to enable single parents to go with childcare issues to go to conferences or I guess any parents with childcare issues to go to conferences um, who might need it so I think I imagine in each of the groups there'd be some um, interesting ideas coming up that that Warren could take forward in some form um, can I just share my screen again um, can you see that So that we can go into the um, so that we can go into the micro networking um, session and have a, a another chat perhaps with some different people. Um, 
it'll operate till five, about five o'clock, I think, is when the automatic kick-out would occur. Uh, if you could just introduce yourselves um, and see if you can find a couple of things that you have in common, apart from OR. And then at five o'clock, we'll come back and we can maybe pick up on any uh, issues either that have come out of the uh, groups or um, of your introductions, if, if anyone wants to share anything. Amy, could you stick us into the, um, the group? So you should be in a group with a few people. I'm not quite sure how many, but a few. Hello again. Back. <laughs> <laughs> we were too keen to go. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I like this. I, I didn't realise you could do different rooms and things. Yeah, cool. You see, this is what we've been doing in our Italian classes. Actually, we, we haven't done it so much at work, but we've done this. You know, because we've been running them through the lockdown, and we've just kind of uh, got. To, you know, we'll have a bit of a discussion, and the teacher will share a video screen or something, and we'll then go into groups to answer questions or do an exercise. And then the teacher kind of comes around the rooms and she kind of just suddenly pops up on the screen. You're like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it's really cool. I like this. It's good. Wow. Hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> I think we're we all back. Back in the room, the main room. If we're all back in the main room, I'm going to share my screen again. Uh, I've just got a couple more slides that I would like to uh, share with you. There we go. So um, adverts, really. First advert is um, to do with wisdom. Wisdom, which stands for Women in Society Doing OR and Management Science. It's a newly formed forum within Euro. Euro is sort of like an umbrella organisation. Uh, um, and as we're members of the UKOR Society, I think we're all automatically come under Euro. And Euro have recently formed the Wisdom um, Forum and they have a webinar, a webinar uh, coming up um, shortly. That's the first thing. So Monday the 20th of July, 3pm UK time with two speakers talking about ORMS for healthcare and gender. But there's also another initiative um, aimed at younger women of OR. And as it says here, basically what I think the Euro, or rather what Wisdom want to do, is to showcase the work of younger women. And they're inviting um, young women to apply. Um, and I've included a link here to the Wisdom pages where there's some more details and links. So if you're interested in either of those events, uh, please do follow that link and you'll get some more information. Um, so my final slide, um, thanks so much for coming today. I've really enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. If you're not currently a member of Warren, please do join us. I've included a link here to the Warren page on the OR Society website and you can uh, you can do a couple of things there. You can uh, sign up to various events, you can send us a message, and you can add your name to our mailing list. Um, if you're interested in being part of the community going forward, organising events, finding speakers and hosting events, then please do uh, get in touch either with myself or Amy. Um, there is a survey monkey asking for feedback about this event today and we would welcome your your feedback uh, on that um, and before we go I'd just like to say thank you so much to Amy, Tati and those at the OR Society who have hosted this event for us. Thanks to you all for coming along and I hope that we'll see you at our um, lightning talks on the 15th of August. Um, so that's all I have to share. Uh, I'm going to stop sharing the screen and just go back now. Um, we've a few more minutes before 10 past five, which was when we said we'd end. Uh, so do feel free to go now. But if you want to hang around for a couple of minutes chatting or what have you, do feel, do feel free to do so. Thank you, Francis, and everyone for organising. It was very interesting. Lovely seeing lots of different people from across the country.